When we speak of athletes, there is a great deal that we know. We know what is required of them. For me, that meant between 30 and 40 hours of training a week. We do this just so that we have a sporting chance to fulfill our lifelong dreams. My travels with my sport since I was a very young and very shy 14-year-old opened the world to me. I didn't realise at the time that this adventure would turn into a career beyond my wildest dreams. I was the youngest ever male at 14 to represent Australia in swimming. By 15, I was the youngest ever male world champion. At 16, I broke four world records in four days. And at 17, I was Olympic champion. I had fulfilled my lifelong ambition and dream as a child. And I quickly realized that I was a child in an adult world. But it was the child in me that throughout my career questioned why. Why is it so? Why is it done that way? And why is the world the way it is? In my travels, competition took me to places where I was sometimes met with abject poverty whilst I just swum. Why was my life so blessed when others, just by fate, had less opportunity than I? I guess I witnessed at a very early age how sport was an international language, a language that transcended borders, boundaries, cultural ideology, politics, and even socioeconomic disadvantage. I've only discussed my career at this stage up to the point where I was 17. It is because when I was 18, I established my charity, Fountain for Youth. I didn't realize at the time that this may be my biggest accomplishment. An achievement not in the sense of doing something right, rather a stepping stone where my values that I had gained from sport could be transferred to something that I deemed more important than sport. That said, sport has made me who I am today. And it has also afforded me the privilege to work beyond sport. We can use sport and use our sporting status to improve the lives of children and whole communities in so many places. We can make it fairer, safer playing field for everyone.